Are you consistent? Are you consistent with yourself? You have to be stubborn. You have to be stern with yourself and say, you know what? Just shut up. Tell it to shut up and keep moving because you're on the journey for yourself. Good early morning. So if you still don't already know my name, my name is Calvin Valentine, the creator of what? Live to make history. And in this video, I'm going to break down the seven things. Yes, the seven. The seven things they don't tell you about weight loss. You ready? Let's go. Bang. Weight loss, weight loss. So, reason number one, what they don't tell you is haters. You, not him, not her, you are on the journey. You will get haters. People say, oh, you can't do this. Oh, you're not gonna reach your goal at this time. Oh, why are you wasting your time? Come and do this with us. Or you're gonna be tempted to do other things because obviously the hate gets too much for you. You might get put off. You will get haters, but you must keep moving. It's a thing where you have to be stubborn with your mindset and keep going regardless. Haters will come and it means you're doing something right. So step away from the crowd, right? Step away from the crowd and keep pushing yourself forward because hate is a thing that can be so toxic and can take you back to where you were before, even further back. So you're going to get haters. Put your mind into that first. You will get haters. That's the only way you can push yourself forward. People don't want you to succeed. They say, oh yeah, don't do this. It's not in a harsh way, just how human nature is. Like everyone wants you to be in the same position. No one wants you to get hurt. It's just, it's just how human nature is. So you will get haters. Sometimes people don't even intend to hate, but people will hate. So number two of what they didn't tell you about weight loss, patience. Listen to that. Um, you need to be patient. Great things take time. Ask yourself the bigger question. Are you consistent? Are you consistent with yourself? If you are consistent with yourself, expect to lose between one and two pounds of body weight a week. Yes, naturally one to two pounds. So be realistic with yourself. It will take time. Patience will take time. So how much do I burn effectively to be losing one to two pounds week hmm so basically breaking it down you want to be burning anywhere between 500 to 1000 calories of more than what you usually consume it's not that hard you can easily just simply simple is always the best if you don't do the most you can do the bare minimum you can go out for an hour and a half yes an hour and a half casual walk and you can burn anywhere between those numbers if you walk consistently so just take it less is more you can burn those calories if you stay consistent and be patient with the journey it will take time so rounding this up rounding this up if you're looking to seriously lose weight in this patience category and you don't want to do the most you want to do the bare minimum go for simple walks make it more consistent during the day yes try and do five days a week if you can minimum five days a week and elevate it from there but just keep it at the minimum if you don't want to do the most you can still get those results weight loss will take time number three of what they don't tell you when you're on this journey by yourself to better yourself and lose weight fluctuations yes don't be scared <laughs> Don't be scared. You will have fluctuations in your weight. In the morning, naturally, you're more light in the morning because you're just woken up, right? You've been in the fastest sleep state during the whole night. So when you wake up, you might feel a lot lighter. Whereas in the nighttime, as you're eating during the day, you're getting the calories in, you're probably training, etc., etc., you're gonna, you know, gain more during the nighttime. So don't get confused. It's a natural process. You're gonna be light in the morning, you're gonna naturally weigh more heavy at nighttime. Take the median range so you can weigh yourself in the morning and the night to kind of get the average of what you're, you know, consistently um 
or your consistent weight is. So don't get put off. Your body does fluctuate. It's just how the human body works. Sometimes you might eat this, that can make you bloated. More glycogen, more carbs, white rice can make you more bloated. Um, so just think about it in the aspects. You're gonna fluctuate naturally. It doesn't mean you're not, you know, reaching your goals. It doesn't mean that you're not working consistently. It's hard. Just get the medium, you know, weight and then work your way from there. But I'm telling you, great things take time. Fluctuations also are gonna, you know, occur. So I'm just trying to, you know, your obstacles here, right? I'm trying to, you know, lead you and guide you for the right direction because these things will happen. So keep moving. Number four, self care. <laughs> so number four is self doubt. It's natural. I do it myself. I am a human being. You're gonna doubt yourself. You're, let's just say you're, you're four or five weeks into your journey, like, ugh, your mindset starts to attack you. Your worst competitor is not what he's saying, or what she's saying, or what they say behind. It's your mindset. Your mindset can make and break you. I'm telling you. So it's all in the mind. Self doubt will happen. You have to be stubborn. You have to be stern with yourself and say, you know what? I'm going to keep pushing regardless. Once you know these steps and you, you, you've got that map in your mind that these things are going to like to happen, you will keep going. If you're just going to jump into this weight loss journey and say, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to go in there and I'm going to lose weight. You're not realistically going to lose weight. You need to know these obstacles. It will happen. Self doubt is a mind, mental battle. Mental battle. You've got to you know, fight with yourself. Be around positive vibes. Be around positive people. Look at other people's journey. It takes time. That mindset, tell it no. Just shut up. Tell it to shut up and keep moving because you're on this journey for yourselves. Yes, your mind lives inside you, but it can be very dangerous. So tell it to shut up and keep going regardless. Reason number five. <laughs> so, Reason number five, what I didn't tell you about this whole weight loss journey is eating disorders. Yes, anorexia, for example, bulimia, it's likely to happen. You're on this journey, you might think, okay, I need to get this, I need to get to this goal quicker. So what do I need to do to start myself, etc. etc. Don't fall for that category, or even worse, you're eating eating a bit crazy, like your calories have gone up because you're starting to binge. You know what I mean? I don't know where your goals are, where you are, but you want to be making sure realistically that you don't fall down this, this pathway of this eating disorder. So be careful with the calories you are consuming. Be extra careful. So, for example, binge eating is not all that bad, but if you are, you know, seriously going all out and getting and just spike up your calories, you just consume three, four thousand calories, then it means that your journey, that diet or whatever you're on was not realistic. Your body couldn't cope. See, what you want to do, you want to kind of step back a bit. Be realistic with yourself, don't be too harsh. We tend to be very, very, very harsh of ourselves. So instead, just change it up, trick the body, trick the mind. Instead, have foods that are low in calories. You can still progress by eating loads, by having foods that are low in calories. Let me just put this on a tip. If you had a previous eating disorder in the past, and obviously now, you know, this those are years ago and you're, you know, on this journey, you're trying to lose weight. Let's say you had anorexia years and years ago. Now you're fine, you had anorexia years and years ago. Um, obviously that stigma may be still there in that mindset, right? You don't want to portray, you don't want to bring it to life. So you're not going to just randomly dress it, just cut all the carbs and just say, no carbs, nothing. Like just eat salads. You're not going to just do that. Be careful with how you're going about on this diet. If you're on this diet or... Whatever you're consuming, just be careful how, how you, you know, put it into your body because it may have a negative effect. Not all carbs are bad for you. So keep moving forward. So number six of what they didn't tell you when you're on this weight loss journey. Breaking it down, hair loss. That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> yes, you may be them kind of people who are just prone to hair loss because one of the reasons why I say hair loss because you're not consuming enough calories, your minerals and nutrition is low, obviously hair feeds off this kind of stuff. So just be aware when you're on this, you know, journey or this calorie, you may lose quality hair. I'm not saying I'm trying to say you're gonna go bold. No! I'm not saying you're gonna go bold. All I'm trying to say you might lose quality hair. You may be you may be more prone to losing quality hair. So be aware of the minerals and nutrition you're eating. Make sure you try and keep them high because at the times when the body is at a low state, then you may lose quality hair. I'm not saying you're gonna go bold or something. I'm trying to say that's not what I'm saying. All I'm trying to say is if you know 
you like your appearance, especially with hair and stuff like that, you just may lose quality hair. So just be aware of that from the start and keep those vitamins and minerals high. And we conclude to the final tip. Tip number seven of what they don't tell you on this weight loss journey. <laughs> never satisfied. Yes, never satisfied. So, you reach your goal or you're coming close to your goal, what does the mind tend to do? What does the mind tend to do? The mind will put in a perspective where this isn't good enough. I need to reach for this goal now. I need to burn um, 50 pounds a week. Your body might say something so unrealistic like that. Or oh, I need to burn 100 pounds during this space and time. And then what happens? You tend to be brainwashed and go towards that. You're gonna never be satisfied. The best looking person in the world, physique wise, whatever their goal is, there's always something that they are not happy with. So, be realistic with yourself. I am saying this every time. You will never be satisfied. So, aim to reach a goal and aim to strive for better goals in a more healthier manner, not unrealistic. Be realistic with yourself first. You will never, ever, ever, and I keep saying this over and over again, you will never be satisfied. So make smart goals, make them specific. Make them measurable. Make them achievable. Make them realistic. And then what kind of type can you achieve it? That's the only way realistically you're likely to see that weight loss, you know, shed throughout life. If you're realistic and consistent with yourself and you know the outcomes. Making all these unrealistic recommendations, I need to look like this, I need to have this, oh my belly's too here, I need to have this, I need to be tighter, uh, uh, bigger glutes. You're gonna continue to keep going down the spiral and it's never gonna change. So, as I keep saying, there may come a point where you may not feel satisfied. What do you need to do? Go back to base. Humble yourself, ignore that stubborn mindset and go back to those smart goals, specific, measurable, cheap, realistic and more time for you to keep scaling. This is a lifestyle factor. This is a lifestyle factor and make it happen for yourselves. And these are the tips. Make it happen for yourselves. Why? Because we, you and I, we have one life in this space and time. Let's go out there, let's continue to live. Let's continue to live to make history. Why? Because we have one life.